SSS Defense's M72 rifle has cleared the technical evaluation round, and has emerged as the lowest bidder in the UP police tender for acquiring 2,000 units of 5.56mm rifles. Adani PLR Systems Limited will supply 21 lakh 556 by 45 mm cartridges to the UP police. Two indigenously developed 180 horsepower engines by JM Automotives have completed ground testing on the Tapis drone, and flight testing is expected within the next one month. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has announced that the Indian Army has achieved an impressive 88% self sufficiency in ammunition production. Amid the grounding of the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter, the Indian Army Chief visited Airbus's facility in France, where he was briefed on the H-125M, which Airbus and Tata Group will assemble in India. Cochin Shipyard held the steel cutting ceremony for a hybrid service operation vessel for British North Star Shipping Limited. India has gifted an Indian Coast Guard interceptor boat to Seychelles. The DRDO and Indian Navy has carried out successful flight trials of first of its kind naval anti-ship missile short range from Indian Navy's seeking helicopter. Indian Army Chief visited the French Army's 3rd Division, where he was briefed on future roadmap for joint training as well as exercise Shakti, that is set to take place in France later this year. Indonesia has sought collaboration with India to develop aircraft carrier technologies, and this request comes as Indonesia plans to construct its first indigenous aircraft carrier. The United States has officially blocked the sale of the General Electric F-414 engine, which is a critical component of Sweden's sub E fighter jet to the Colombian Air Force, and this decision is aimed at nudging Colombia toward purchasing American F-16 fighter jets. This decision has sparked debate about its broader implications for India's Tejas Mark II, which relies on the same engine. With the US wielding significant influence over export of its technology, questions are mounting about whether this veto could cast a shadow over India's ambitions to market the Tejas Mark II internationally, especially to nations aligned with or contested by American interests. A former employee of India's gas turbine research establishment has said, that negotiations with France for the joint development of a 110 kN engine for the AMCA program was like speaking to a dead wall. The ex-official also cautioned, that France's poor track record on technology transfer, cast serious doubts on its reliability as a partner, and he accused French officials of over-promising and under-delivering in past engagements, a pattern that could jeopardize India's fifth-generation fighter ambitions. He also said, that France's Safran was not keen to offer tech transfer for a fourth-generation jet engine back then, and now Safran is proposing fifth-generation collaboration, when they haven't even developed a fifth-generation jet engine themselves. The DRDO and Indian Navy carried out successful flight trials of first of its kind naval anti-ship missile short range from an Indian Navy Sea King helicopter, and the test has proven the missile's man-in-loop feature, and scored a direct hit on a small ship target in sea skimming mode at its maximum range. The missile was launched in bearing only lock-on after launch mode with several targets in close vicinity for selecting one among them and the missile initially locked on to a large target within a specified zone of search, and during the terminal phase, pilot selected a smaller hidden target, resulting in its being hit with pinpoint accuracy. Today's Top 3 Comments